Hello there. Thanks so much for joining me today. My name is Stephanie and I will be your yoga teacher for today. Today's flow is going to be a power flow, but of course, per, per my normal, we will be playful. So we're going to have some fun on our mats today. We might get our hearts rates up, maybe create a little bit of sweat. That's what you're here for though, right? Everybody's going to meet in extended wide-legged child's pose. So go ahead and meet me on your mat. I'm your most beautiful expression of extended child's pose. Taking those knees to the outside edges of the mat, bringing the toes to touch and sending the hips back. Finding that comfort there and then slowly walking the hands forward. Dropping that forehead to the mat and allowing yourself to settle in here. You are amazing for showing up for yourself and picking something harder. So way to go. Go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back. Hardest part is completed. Take a note of your breath, noticing its natural ebb and flow here in your little cocoon that we've made with our mats and ourselves. Slowly begin to walk your hands over towards the right. Getting that left side body stretch here. And then gently walk over towards the left. Right side body stretch. Very nice. I'm going to come back to the center. Push up. You can come into a kneeling position here and we're just going to take our twist so inhale arms up and open up to the right getting this spine nice and warm and inhale back to center and open up to the left And again, inhale, arms up, and open to the right. And one more time, inhale, arms up, open up to the left. Very nice. Going on. Come back to center, arms up, and bring them down. We're going to come into our all fours. So once you get here, just making sure that the hips are over the knees and the shoulders are over our wrists. We're gonna take barrel rolls here. So if you've done this with me before, you know, you can go ahead. And if you've not, it's a cat cow, but we are attempting to roll through like an oak barrel. So you can imagine dropping down towards the right, dragging your chest along the bottom of the barrel Pushing up and rounding through the spine, and then you're dragging your back across the top of the barrel. And then we roll back down and drag the chest across the bottom of the barrel. 
and then we round to drag the back across the top. So just do these a few times, feeling into each one of them. And I'll tell you when to reverse it. So just take your time here. Enjoy these spinal flexions and this movement warming this wonderfully made body up. Getting very animalistic here in this movement. And once you feel good on that side, let's go ahead and reverse it. So this time we drop down to the left and roll the opposite way. So nice. Once you feel good there, we're going to tuck the toes and we're going to sit back on them. Get a little toe stretch there and the wrist and release them and do circles. Do circles one way and now the other. It's going to feel a little weird. Shake them out and let's roll them by themselves one way and reverse the roll. Warming up my wrist is one of my favorite things to do because I feel like we're on our wrists a lot. Go and take them at heart center and push them together. Maybe trying to pull down just a little bit here. Not thinking about the toe stretch happening. Very nice. Now we're going to come forward into plank. All right, so we're tucking those toes, and here we are in our plank pose. Pushing through the shoulders, tucking the glutes, and those heels are pressed back towards the back of the mat. Now let's do rocks, so we're just going to rock forwards and backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, and now we're gonna do knee to elbow, right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Let's go to the other side. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful push back into a downward dog. First one of the day. So go ahead, rock the hips side to side. Take your dog for a walk. Whatever feels good for you here. Just go ahead and find that. Maybe even taking a little twist, putting the heels towards one side, maybe the other side, and then here we are. We're going to take some spinal rolls. I've not done these much on the channel, so I'm going to talk us through the first one. So the way we do the, these, we roll forward very slowly and coming into plank. Once we hit plank, we take our sits bones and we arc our spine up towards the sky and we allow it to lead. Micro bend those elbows and push yourself back. So let's try that again together. We roll forward. Arc that spine and send those sits bones up. Beautiful. So let's just do a few of these on our own. Just rolling forward. And back to down dog. And again, rolling forward. 
And back to down dog. Let's do one more. Roll forward. And push back. Very nice. You're gonna go ahead and hop, step, or jump to the top of the mat. And then now come up for halfway lift here. Exhale, fold over both of your legs. Just find a nice little ragdoll here, swaying left to right. Maybe play in with straightening those legs. How does that feel? And slowly peel yourself up to standing. Mountain Pose, a.k.a. Tadasana. Inhale, arms up. Interlace, Kali Mudra. Squeeze those glutes and slight back bend. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant those hands. Step the left foot back, followed by the right foot. Lower down the knees. And then the chest and the chin. Come forward into baby cobra. And everybody meets back. Downward facing dog. Go ahead and take you a couple deep breaths here. In through the nose and maybe a heavy exhale out through the mouth. Let some of that heat out. On your next inhale, we're gonna sweep the right leg up, three leg dog, squared hips. And then we're gonna roll forward and place that right foot beside that right thumb. Lower down that left knee. Allow the inhale to rise you up to our low lunge here. Breathe. Making sure that that right knee is not splaying over that right ankle. You can see that right big toe. We're almost squeezing the feet together here. And exhale, push the hips back, and we're coming in for our half splits here. So we have nice squared hips, a nice little bend in that right knee, and that right foot is pointed forward. I mean, towards the sky. Our spines are nice and straight. They're not rounded here. And let's roll forward. We're going to keep our hands beside of our foot. Tuck the left toes. Coming into our runner's lunge here. Just feel into this for just a second. And on our next inhale, we're going to come up and rise up into our high lunge. So go ahead and inhale. Arms up overhead. Beautiful high lunge. Nice big inhale and let it out. Maybe interlacing the hands here, Kali Mudra. Maybe take that slight back bend if you'd like. And exhale, we're going to open up into our Warrior Two. Pivot on that left foot, arms go parallel. And get your stance here. Gaze is forward. Breathe. Awesome. We are going to pivot back onto that back heel. Arms up and down through heart center. We're going to use some power here and come into warrior three on that right leg. Square those hips off. You can take your arms into airplane if that feels good for you. And then step that left leg up between the right, coming into chair. 
So find your beautiful chair. Breathe. Hands through heart center. And we're going to take this left elbow over this right leg. So revolve chair. Breathe. And we're going to slowly shift the weight to the right foot. We're going to step back to our revolved high lunge. So just take that confidence, step back, trying to get your hands at heart center. And go ahead and place that left hand beside that right foot. Right hand sweeps up towards the sky. Revolved side angle. Breathe. And plant that hand down beside that right foot. Step back into our downward dog. We're vinyasing. We're going to roll forward into plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Push up, upward facing dog. Everybody meets back, downward dog. Beautiful. Take a few deep breaths here. Nice little down dog resting position. Everyone's favorite. And on your next inhale, we're gonna sweep that left leg up. Squared hips, squared shoulders, and we roll forward, bringing that leg or that left foot beside the left thumb. Lower down that right knee and allow your next inhale to rise you up into our low lunge. <sighs> Breathing, noticing the difference on this side. Of course, making sure that that knee is not over the ankle. You can see that left big toe. And your next exhale, we'll send those hips back. Ooh, coming into half splits, a little bend in that left leg and left feet are pointed towards the ceiling. Just keeping the spine as straight as you can keep it. You can, of course, play with, you know, feeling this hair squip, <laughs> hips squared, not squared, legs straight, not straight. Just feel the differences here. You know, we got to drop what the pose looks like. We really got to drop into what the pose feels like. Beautiful. We're going to roll forward. We're going to tuck that right toe. Coming into our runner's lunge here. So just feeling into this. And after this, we are going to allow our inhale to rise us up into our high lunge. Beautiful. Beautiful yogis. Same as the other side. We're going to pivot on that back foot. Come into our warrior two. Parallel arms. Still able to see that left big toe. Powerful warriors. And back around to our high lunge. And then hands down through heart center. Choose the power here. We're going to come up into our warrior three on our left leg. If you want to take your arms out in airplane, be my guest. Breathing, rooting down through that left big toe. And stepping that right foot forward. Coming into chair. Breathe. Hands down through heart center and revolve over to the left. So right elbow, left knee, trying to get the hands at heart center. Breathe. Mm -hmm. 
And very slowly, we're going to shift all the way to the left foot. Pick the right foot up, and we're going to step it back. High lunge here. So we're in a revolved high lunge. And we are going to take this right hand beside that right left foot. And left hand sweeps up towards the sky. I'm having problems with my words today. I hope you're keeping up. Breathe. Beautiful. Plant that hand and step back. Down, dog. And yes, vinyasa. Roll forward. Plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Push up, upward facing dog. Everybody meets back. Downward dog. Beautiful. Child's pose is always an option here. Otherwise, I'm all for a different option. <laughs> we can come down to turbo dog, which is us just bending our arms, almost putting them down, but not. Or we can come down to pincha. I mean, dolphin. Think and pincha. And then walk the feet forward. Pushing through the hands. Breathing. No holding or clenching. We are smiling. Happy yogis here. And push back up. Down dog. And if you're in child's pose, go ahead and lead us in our downward dogs. Inhale, right leg up. Open those hips. And let's roll forward and step it in between our hands. Beautiful. We're just going to rise up to our lunge here. Breathe. And we're going to come down. Skandasana, right side. Beautiful. Breathing. I'm quite warm. I hope that you are warm too. come out of this we're going to come into our extended side angle so our right hand plants beside the right and here we are extended side angle beautiful and exhale plant that hand we're going to frame the foot Step it back. Down dog. Vinyasa. Roll forward. Plank. Lower down chaturanga. Push up. Upward facing dog. And everybody meets me back. Downward facing dog. Very nice. We're going to hop right on over to the other side. Lift that left leg up. Open those hips. And roll forward. And plant that foot. Allow your next inhale to come up. High lunge. Breathe. And we're going to drop down to Skandasana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Breathe. And of course, planting that left hand, side that left foot, and right hand goes up towards the sky. So nice. And frame that foot. And we're going to step back, down dog. Roll forward, plank. Lower down, chaturanga, push up into our upward facing dog. Everybody meets me. Downward dog. If you want to take the child's pose, be my guest. Take the child's pose. Or you can take turbo dog or come on down into dolphin. Whichever you prefer here. If you have pinch in your practice, you could play with that. Hopping up, seeing how you're feeling today. Child's pose is always a fantastic 
option and everybody meets me downward dog beautiful we're gonna roll forward into plank and shift over Vasi stashana left side arm up breathing plant that hand swing the right foot through coming into fallen star here leaving that foot where it is plant that left hand okay stretching along that outer IT band on this right side maybe lowering down seeing how it feels pushing back up and bring it back down dog just take a nice steady inhale and exhale out the mouth roll forward into plank Vasi station on the other side so side plank on the right breathing and holding smiling and plant that hand bring that left foot through find and fall and star and coming around planting that hand and trying that little push up there feeling that outer IT band and pushing back coming into down dog very nice <laughs> we are going to vinyasa here so roll forward into plank lower down chaturanga push up into our upward facing dog you got it we're meeting back in child's pose this time <laughs> Extended child's pose. So make sure those arms are out in front of you. Just take you a couple deep breaths here. Noticing how you feel right now. Noticing all that energy just pumping through your veins right now. And here we go. And roll back up. Mermaid those legs to the side. Send your legs out. So here we are, seated forward fold, Padi Motanasana. But we're not going to fold yet. We're going to attempt to lift ourselves up. If you like blocks, um, or if you have blocks, blocks would be very useful right now to put right here under your hands to give you some earth up to you. So we're gonna start with just lifting our booties off the ground. Let's go ahead and inhale a lift. And release, beautiful. And now we're gonna do that again and maybe play with taking one foot off seeing how it feels allowing the legs to shake beautiful release this time we're going to try the other leg one side's going to be a little easier released you got it we're going for both of them just try it you know I may not be able to do it it's it's okay we give it a go and, and we we hope for the best let's go ahead and inhale and push up <laughs> and just try your best if you have the blocks the blocks will really be helpful <laughs> and once you're done playing we are coming into our forward fold nice little bend in the knees inhale arms up and exhale fold very nice
And slowly we peel ourselves up. We're coming into boat. Got to get a little bit of core work in here. So, however you normally take boat, take boat that way. So if you normally grab behind the legs, please be my guest. If you're normally here, please do this. If you normally take full boat, we are doing toe taps, so that might not be as easy, but you can try it. So once you get to your boat, we're doing 20 toe taps slow. So go by my count, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's play and see if we can take full boat, at least the legs, maybe the arms. Allow the shake. The shake is good energy. And back to boat. Hug those knees. And we're rocking and rolling. Massage that spine. Oh, yeah. Find that kid. That kid is in there. All you got to do is search. And I bet that they will love this childlike back massage. Before we come in for our Shabbasana. You could also take extended wide leg child's pose. Whatever you're craving right now. I'm coming into Shavasana, sending my legs out long, tucking my shoulder blades. Palms face up. And here we drop in. Acknowledging all the hard work we have done. Let's go ahead and say an affirmation together. I am powerful. Mm -hmm. I am powerful. I am powerful. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to challenge you to stay here as long as you can. I'm going to go ahead and close our practice off. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I look forward to seeing you back on the mat tomorrow. Namaste.